Hello, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for sticking with me here on Turner Classic Movies as we continue to explore films that are discussed in the new limited documentary series, The Power of Film. We're showing episodes every Thursday night until next week. Up next is another film that touches on the theme of tonight's episode, The Power of Paradox. It was produced in Germany nearly a decade after the First World War when German society remained in turmoil and the horrors of the Third Reich loomed on the horizon. From 1927, directed by the master of German Expressionism, Fritz Lang, it's Metropolis. This is a dystopian tale driven by the social and economic divide between those who live in the futuristic, brightly lit skyscrapers of Metropolis and the workers who live a drab and depressing life in the caverns far below the city. A wealthy industrialist controls Metropolis and its workers, and his son is a playboy who's being groomed to follow in his father's footsteps. When he falls for Maria, a beautiful blonde champion of the workers, he begins to re-examine his life and priorities. This touches off a series of events that will forever alter Metropolis and its citizens. In addition to the film's influential production design, Metropolis also explored a theme that would become central to science fiction stories. If the power of science is not harnessed for good, evil will follow close behind. Lang did not hold back in creating his ambitious vision, which took a year and a half to create. The filmmaker deployed every cinematic trick in the books, matte effects, miniatures, stop motion animation, and multiple exposures. The spiraling cost nearly bankrupted the German studio producing the film, UFA, and the plug was nearly pulled until UFA formed a partnership with Paramount and MGM. The deal allowed Paramount to do whatever they wanted with the film in the US, and the studio took full advantage. Metropolis was recut, and the story was altered, much to Lang's dismay. Luckily, the version you're about to see is the one that reflects Lang's original vision. First release in 1927, here is Metropolis. Over the years, Metropolis was not served well by studios and distributors. The film had around a third of its running time slashed after its initial release. Metropolis continued to be cut and recut, and for decades, most of the footage was lost. In 1984, the electronic music pioneer Giorgio Moroder spearheaded a new restoration of Metropolis, complete with a slick pop soundtrack featuring Freddie Mercury, Adam Ant, and Pat Benatar. It was certainly a surprising idea, and it did get the nearly six-decade-old film back in theaters. In 2008, a mostly complete but heavily worn 16-millimeter copy was discovered in Argentina, leading to the most extensive restoration of the film to date. Up next, a scientist goes too far exploring his obsession with good and evil in a 1941 horror film from MGM starring Spencer Tracy, Ingrid Bergman, and Lana Turner. Next on TCM, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, then Rebel Without a Cause, and later Speed. TCM hits the gas tonight.